Nevada. Um, we'll tell you a lot more about the process and the actual like outdoor classroom um, when we go back into the meeting house. But yeah, this is the end result. Yeah. And that bench just appeared. Yeah. Yes. We didn't That's make new. that one. Really? <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> It has some wood chips on yeah. it. Yeah, it took a long time. This is all wood chips I'm standing on. Very, uh, took a lot of hard work. Yeah. <laughs> Good. No, we did so much. <laughs> yeah, I did most. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's head to the warp. Yeah, so we're going to go to the meeting house and the outdoor classroom is going to continue to present. So um, take uh, some hot chocolate. Um, there will be vegan chai, it might be a few minutes. Um, and um, there are blondies. And then the one in the blue tray is vegan and gluten free, um, which was an experiment. Um, but it has lots of sugar, so. <laughs> okay. Um, and, uh, I was just going to say, so get some and take a seat, and so the outdoor classroom will continue to present once people are sitting and enjoying their hot chocolate and milk. Okay, also, wait, can I stop? Wait, stop. wait. I just want to draw attention to this beautiful orange uh, board in the middle of these two benches because. That was the only colored paint we had. <laughs> so, we talk there's about only that. like that much. Okay, but I'll talk about it. I just wanted to draw your attention. <laughs> so, we started with a pile of compost, of um, old compost, uh, that had bugs in it that we could no longer use to plant things in because uh, the bugs are really bad. We don't like them in our garden. So, um, it was Maggie Proud's idea to the outdoor classroom because we um, have a lot of, well, classes because we're a school, and then other schools come in and look at our garden and do things in our garden, especially this one wall of our school, so there's a lot of time here. And so we wanted a space where they could learn in the classroom. And um, so we started with a big pile of compost, and we did one shared work. We got dirt. Um, we spent uh, the entire shared work just uh, moving all of the organic materials out of the compost pile that was kind of like, what are you doing? Molly. <laughs> we spent um, a bunch of work going through and taking out all the trash and the organic materials and getting all of um, the gross stuff out of the compost pile. And then uh, we had some dirt, some piles of dirt there, and we just spread it out, and it looked pretty cool. And um, we also, at the beginning, we made uh, a design for a bench. We had a lot of really um, awesome ideas for the compost pile. I mean, for the outdoor classroom. But, uh, <laughs> We um, did, as with many groups, didn't quite get to uh, do our um, original ideas, which seems like a um, And yeah, so after we did the um, spreading out the dirt and getting everything ready, well, there were also chickens over there, and um, the chickens were soon taken care of. Um, and <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and so after we did the dirt, we moved on to your wood chips, and Dad can tell you about that. <laughs> yeah, um, we so we had to move a bunch of wood chips over to the, the area so we could use them as mulch, and there's a pile of wood chips right there, and we had to get the truck down there, put them in the truck, bring them over, and that's what you're seeing. That. It's supposed to be a video. Um, there we go. Yeah, and um, uh, we had a lot of trouble with this part of the project because we had to find someone who was willing to drive the truck 
And um, there's a lot of scheduling conflicts within the group and a lot of the time one group member had to do a lot of the work. And, <laughs> and, um, and I want to give a big shout out to Matt who's an intern here because he helped a lot. Uh, But we finally got them over there, we have a big pile, so we spread out and it's a couple of feet and um, it's all level and we moved on to the benches. So with the benches, we wanted to somewhat base our idea off these previous benches that were made that are outside the Arbor House for the outdoor classroom by the Arbor House. Um, but we wanted to make these benches a lot bigger because the ones that the students built from last spring semester made them a little bit too small and they're kind of uncomfortable. They can only really, they can sit two people, but like for a grown adult, like that's all the room really you can have. So we decided to make a bench kind of like the benches that we have here in the meeting house or like a park bench because you can sit a lot of people on those kind of benches and make sure that it's sturdy enough for the where the woodchip pot, where the woodchips are, because it's in the garden. So we did a lot of that with the help of Red, Tyler, Matt, and Tom. We were able to cut the wood and start building. And the first uh, bench we made was that really big one where you had your feet, your feet swinging off. That was our original idea. We saw that it was too big because this, these benches are going to be used a lot for little kids. So as you can imagine, it will be harder for a little kid to get up on that bench. <laughs> It's even harder for a grown adult to do it. So we, um, for our second, uh, we redid the plan to make um, the benches, the legs a lot shorter. So the other two benches are the ones from our second idea to make them shorter so that they're a lot easier to use. And I'll give it to me about beautification.